Working our way through the open source OSs, we found some interesting things about Firefox OS and Ubuntu Touch, but now it's time for the lesser known but growing in popularity, Tizen, more open than Android. Well, we'll see about that. Brought to you by Untangle. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Salt, your source for open source. So when I was checking out the Consumer Electronics Show a couple months ago, Samsung was claiming to have something they couldn't talk about that would blow iOS and Android out of the water. So I was twiddling my thumbs impatiently as the S4 was released, still running Jelly Bean. Then all of a sudden, Samsung's like, hey, new handset coming out, new Linux OS, and I suddenly realized why I like my Nexus so much. But why should I care about Tizen OS? Impressively enough, this concept has been brewing in the brains of Canonical, Fedora, Debian. That concept was originally called Mego, and the large open source family contributed to its growth. Then Samsung branched out, creating the C++-dominated Limo, or Limo, sorry if I don't know how to pronounce it, and Intel eventually joined them, turning it into the Tizen that we know today. The Linux Foundation also dropped Mego, but despite this, Sailfish Mobile OS is still coming to the forefront, which I'll talk about later. Confused yet? In a nutshell, Mego's foundation was built by a bunch of open source powerhouses, influencing the creation of Limo and paving the way for bigger and better, developer-loving, HTML5Z-like things, such as Tizen 2.0. Using Tizen OS. If you watch my Firefox OS review, you'd see that not surprisingly Mozilla is targeting the lower power, lower cost phones, at least right now. But that's not so with Tizen, as they rolled out some 720p handsets when they recently unveiled 2.0. But it seems like as with every alt mobile OS under the sun, it has a huge Android-like feel to it, with the home screen application grid, lock screen, a pull down window shade like notification panel, hell, even the icons look Android-esque. In fact, its native camera app icon looks identical to the Android phones we have today. The buttons are actually round and cartoonish, bringing back some old school days of when I had a Palm Pre. Tizen 2.0 also seemed a bit laggy, but I saw it run a real-time sci-fi strategy game without a hitch. I guess Rome wasn't built in the day, and neither was Android, so why would that be the case with Tizen? Some of the cool features I found. Quicker access to settings, multitasking with a long press, and just things added that you're coming to expect with the next gen of mobile user interfaces in general. But here's the catch. If staying truly open source is important to you, you may be disappointed with the way Intel and Samsung went about things. Tizen exclaimed once from their website, we will open the entire Tizen software stack, from the core OS up through the core applications and polished user interfaces. That's partially true. Samsung's components in OS have a chewy center of open Openness, yet the crunchy outside is under a Flora license that even the Linux Foundation says isn't really open source. By crunchy outside, I mean the Tizen 2.0 developer kit. And I think I'm just craving candy. Anyway, all of this may not necessarily be pertinent to our neck of the woods, much like Firefox OS was. I mean, Android dominates a lot of the mobile space in the US, but that's not every part of the world. Asia, for instance, there was that huge controversy with Google search and the Asian semi-equivalent Baidu. In fact, the Chinese government openly ditched Android, claiming that the big googly giant was trampling on smaller cell phone companies. But honestly, a lot of Google Play wasn't even functional in China because of all the censorship. So maybe communists just don't like Google. No matter what the reason is, though, it just was a huge hit for Android in Asia. My opinion of Tizen overall. People have been remarking that most alternative operating systems are stupidly similar to Android, and for that I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's a reason why these features are so popular with upcoming mobile OSs, and so just don't worry about it. I mean, think of all the failed innovation, and, and they were just trying to reach too far and too high and, and kind of miss the mark entirely, like with virtual reality and segways. It seems clear to me that Tizen is at least going to reclaim the Asian mobile market. Actually, the VP of Tizen Mobile said that high-end Tizen phones will drop this summer or into September. All this talk of openness is bringing up interesting questions for me. Does this mean that cell phone manufacturers are finally acquiescing and realizing that their units are just a vehicle for our communication? Are we finally putting control back into the hands of the users and the developers who make apps for them? What do you think? Let me know in a comment or video response below. And until next time, thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on 
next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source, where we fight for the users. Thirty thousand organizations and counting are enjoying Untangle support, and you can be among them with no pushy sales agents or hidden costs. Say you need some virtualization options, or perhaps replace your outdated gateway, firewall, or UTM. Untangle has got your back with their complete multifunction firewall and internet management application suite. It's quick and easy to try Untangle before you buy, and they even have a demo on their site for you to check out. If you just need minimum protection, run the Lite package. It's free and open source. But if you're looking for something more, the premium package offers a full-featured solution where you can control bandwidth and applications with advanced web filtering and more. And OS Alt viewers get a free 14-day trial of all the Untangle premium package apps. And we'll save 20% off list price with the promo code OSALT. And all you have to do is visit untangle.com slash OSALT. My annoying cat commands you. No kitty, you can't. I missed you, kitty, but you can't do this to me right now.